Hey guys, so it's the week of June 20th. June 20th. I know I say it every week. Still can't believe how fast this month is going by. So, um, I know I've been a little obsessed with the stencils lady lately. I can't really help it because they're awesome. And I pulled this stencil out of my stash, which I've never used, and I absolutely loved it when I bought it. So I think I'm going to use it today. It might be a lot of blue on this page, though. But this is a great place to experiment, as in your planner, for other things. So we're going to have to go with it. So this is a kite stencil called Chinese Clouds. And we're going to go with it with the color box harbor pigment ink so let's see how this does and um, the nice thing is is I've been able to write through this pigment ink no problem on my planner so I'm really happy using it the dye ink of course would be a little bit more transparent but I don't like the effect that it's been giving me on other things so that's by oh I've been using the pigment ink this is a very thin stencil so that's why it's kinda hard and I'm having to pounce more than rub which I actually prefer rubbing. Okay, let's see if I can get a little bit down here because it's showing up a little bit boxy. It's the thing with stencils is you really have to work with the design on your stencil. Like this one, I totally forgot when I'm doing it that it, this is uh, so square and I wanted it more organic. So I have to f not go all the way to the edge of the stencil when I'm doing it. And I think that looks nice. So we're going to leave it at that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gold in here. Let's see where's my gold paper. So this is the um, Recollections Open Stock paper and it didn't really say who, who it was. I'm saying recollections. What I mean to say is it's the Michaels open stock paper. They just have this nice gold texture paper in there. Um, so I've been using this for a while. I just got one sheet of it and it's really lasted me. It's nice and thick. I really like it. This over here. Like that. And then I'm going to use where are they? Okay. Um Tim Holtz came out with a honeycomb die and it's amazing it is so pretty this is what it produces and I used it with this gold paper and it looks so good but what the negative of that die is these little honeycomb shapes so I'm gonna use those on this other side instead of sequins Because why not? They're gorgeous. And it's just paper, and otherwise I would just be throwing it away anyway. And then I'll put these last two over here. Oops.
three. And then I need a little piece of paper for notes. So let me cut one out really quick. Yeah. This is just typewriter paper that I have left over. So I need a little notes thing running along the bottom. Oops. is it for this week. What do you think? So I can do my list of things that I need to shop for there. That's all done with that. Maybe I'll do just a little bit of washi at the bottom. I love this gold washi tape. some over here. Two. There! That looks nice. Alright guys, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you here next week. Bye!